Hey, hi, and welcome to the 5 Minutes Friday. Today we're going to talk about washes, and I'll show you how I do it. Well, I do think that one of the most important things that I need to show you first is what we need. Well, we need color, a couple of acrylic inks, and matte medium, and a bit of water, that's it. Oh, and did I forget to mention the flow aid? So, first I'm gonna show you how you can use regular paints, model paints or whatever, to make washes. It's quite easy. Just add some paint and a little bit of water in a cup. Mix it and test your consistency. If it's translucent enough, well, you can use it on a model or on a whatever. And if not, yeah, just add a little bit of water and that's it. The only problem is that these kind of washes, and you saw it, the pigments break up. So what we need is, first of all, a plastic bottle. We are gonna add a line on it it's 10% and that's what we fill the bottle with flow improver and the rest of the bottle can be filled with water well I'd use demineral demineralized water yeah, what a word because we have very hard tap water over here and if you don't have very hard tap water you can use regular tap water if you want to just shake it a little bit and that is our flow aid water mixture for the wash we're gonna fill a bottle with almost 50% of matte medium and for the rest we're gonna fill it up with our pre-made water mixture with flow aid of course but don't fill the bottle up completely you know you need to have space to add paint or pigments or something some shaken balls maybe I like them So we're going to shake this pretty good and then open it again. And then we have our basic wash without color. For color I use mainly inks, acrylic inks, Amsterdam, Golden, Winsor & Newton, Liquitex, doesn't matter. The only thing I look at is if I like the color. In this case, we're gonna make a, a black, black wash. And for a black wash, I add a couple of drops of black to the mix, or to the, to the medium mix, until I think it's dark enough. Well, there's no rocket science. This is just a try and error, you know. Put in some ink, shake it, test it, put in some ink, shake it, test it, and if you find it's dark enough, well, then it's pretty good, I think. You're the one who's using it. So what you see, I added a couple of drops more. And this is really no rocket science meat. And because I think black is just too harsh, I always add a couple of drops of brown until I, I like the color. It has to be a little bit like a darkish brown, blackish, dirty, you know, not completely black. Afterwards, I make my own labels fill in what ink I use or paint
stick it on the bottle and it's good to go. Well, that's easy, eh? Please, if you like this, consider to subscribe and like this video and hope to see you next in the next one. Bye.